Hi everyone! Happy New Year! So before I get started with my project, I want to share some really exciting news with you. This year, TaylorMade Cards for You is sponsoring Crafter's Castle Challenge. So that means every month, whoever enters their projects in the challenge has a chance to win a prize from TaylorMade Cards for You. And I believe each month it will be a kit that coordinates with the bundle that the design team uses. And that's not all. If you go to Crafter's Castle Challenge blog, and there is a link below in the description box, you are going to find a coupon code good for 20% off digital products at TaylorMade Cards for You. Yes, 20% off. And one of the reasons for that is this year, when you enter the challenge, if you use a digital product from TaylorMade Cards for You, you will get an extra entry in the giveaway. Now, isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, I just love having her for a sponsor. She is just the greatest. Okay, so with all of that said, now it's time for my project. And today I'm using the Soda Fountain Shop Bundle from TaylorMade Cards for You. And I am making a recipe book to hold my favorite dessert recipes. And I just love this bundle. It is awesome. And like I said, there are links below. There will be links below to TaylorMade Cards for You, to the bundle that I'm using today, and obviously to Crafter's Castle Challenge. And so let's just head on over to the craft table and get started. So I've decided to share the finished project first. And then if you want more information on how I made this, that will follow. So what this is, is a recipe book slash recipe holder, because it's really not a recipe book, but it's a place where I can save you know, recipe cards or recipes that I've printed out off the computer or cut out of a magazine. And I'm only putting my favorites in here and only desserts. And all of the papers and cutouts and things that I used all come from the Soda Fountain Shop bundle from TaylorMade Cards for You. And so this is the front. And look at this. I got to get up close. Hopefully it focuses. Isn't this adorable? This is probably one of my favorite cutouts of the whole thing. And this is another one. And I added some lace trim along the side and these little hearts. So, and this is a magnetic closure. So it closes nicely. And it opens up. I have a, a side here. I don't even know what to call it. It's part of the closure, but it's to keep everything in because I have pockets in here and I don't want things to fall out. So it closes up and everything is contained nicely inside. So let me open this up for you. And this is the first page and I didn't want to cover that up with anything because I just love the menu. It is just so awesome. So that had to stay all by itself. And then I have a pocket here that I've created and I'll show you that later in the video as I said. And then here's another page and I created a little pocket here using the, um, oh they're like library cards. Um, that come with this bundle. And so I turned them into a little pocket to hold recipe cards. And I used some of the papers that come with it to create cards that I can write my recipes on. And I don't have any lines on the back, but that's okay. So there's that. Over here, this page is blank. And you know what my husband said? perfect place to write some notes. So if I have some recipe notes that I want to put down, or maybe if I want to create a little sheet with little a little conversion chart that I might need, it's a perfect place for it. And then here is another pocket. And these pockets are great. I print out um, a lot of recipes, you know, offline, or I'll type them up and print them out. And so I can just fold them up and stick them in these pockets, which is one of the reasons I created the pockets, because I just, I do that a lot and it'll just be easy for me to pull them out. And then here is another recipe card holder where you can put more recipe cards and another page that again, I left blank and I like my husband's idea of being able to write notes or maybe attach some sort of chart 
or maybe even stick one of my favorite recipes so it's just right there looking at me. And another pocket, and these pockets are very large. You can see my hands fit in here. So you can stick a lot of recipes in here. And another recipe card holder. I didn't stick anything in this one right now. And then some more of the really cool cutouts. This was on this page, but the Pepsi and the root beer float and you know this little thing right there those were all part of the cutouts so that was just really fun and I love this um, another option that I may end up doing is making a little tab it can't be the tab that sticks out because I don't know if I've left enough room maybe I have look at that there may be enough room to put a little tab to say possibly you know cupcakes on one cookies on another you know other desserts on another one and keep this you know totally sorted so that you know these recipes are all one thing these are another and that's another so that is something that I haven't done yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to end up putting just a little label right here or if a tab would fit but looking at that I believe a tab will fit so I think that is something I am definitely going to do but this was really easy to make, and you will find out if you keep watching that this cover was actually from a frozen pizza box. But I just love pink. I love this whole soda fountain shop theme. It's absolutely gorgeous. You definitely need to check it out. It comes with more than what you're seeing here. And actually, if you click on the links below in the description box below where the rest of the design team's links are, you're going to see so many other projects that you are going to absolutely love. Okay, now, if you want to learn more about how I made this, keep watching. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. So I picked up these cute little clamps that are pink. I got these at the dollar store. There was a package of like five or six of them. And you know what? What a perfect way to put your recipe card on the front and just clip it to it so you can read your recipe. Anyways, I just thought I would share that. For my cover, I started off with a frozen pizza box. One that looks just like this. And then I cut it to the size that I needed for my book. And since my pages are five by eight, I cut this a little bit bigger, about a quarter of an inch each direction. And then you have a perfect book cover. You don't even need to score, it's already scored for you and you are ready to go. But for mine, I cut the bottom a little bit longer and scored it to create a flap that would come over for a magnetic closure on the front of mine. Now, if you want to know more about how to make these type of covers, I'm going to have a link below in the description box to a video I did on making a mini album like this and that will help you out. So as you can see I decided to do a tab instead of a flap for the closure and then I used washi tape to go around all of the edges and all of the seams and I've actually never done that before um, but I decided to do it this time and so it you know covers the edges once we put on all of the paper you won't see the cardboard edges I thought it would give it more of a finished look next I covered all of the panels of the book with cardstock inside and out and then after that I started adding the layers of patterned paper from the soda fountain shop bundle but because I am adding a magnet closure I had to add the magnet before I could add the patterned paper to the front of the the recipe book. Then I added the pattern paper to the front and also added the spine cover. And one thing I forgot to tell you is that I inked the edges of all of the pattern paper since it was printed on white paper I didn't want the white edges to show. I also like the look of inked edges and I think it all came out beautifully. Okay now it's time to show you how I'm making the pages to go in my book. So they are eight inches by five inches with a quarter inch spine. That's what I'm gonna call this. And I'm gonna to go together like this, plus one more page. And 
This is the inside. Now you're going to see the white, and the white is not going to show, but I did ink all of the edges in case anything did show. So I have my pages here, and we're going to do one more so I can show you how I did this. So because I need my pages to be 5 inches by 8 inches, this is 8 inches tall, and so 5 plus 5 is 10, and then the quarter inch down the middle. So this is 10 and 1 fourth inches long as you can see right over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to score them at five inches, then I'm gonna rotate it and score it at five inches again. And actually I'm gonna turn this over to do that. So hold on one second. I thought I lost this. Okay, so here we are, the five inch. So I'm scoring this at five inches. I'm going to rotate it around and I'm going to score it at five inches again and that is going to give me that quarter of an inch there. So I just fold it on those four lines and now it's going to look just like the others. So now it has that quarter of an inch right there and hold on one second while I grab these, I'll put it up next to it so you can see. So they all match up. And now it's time to show you how it's going to go in the book. Oh wait, before I do, I don't wanna put this away and have to get it again. I'm gonna take two pieces of cardstock for each, for each set of pages. So this is one inch by four and three fourths. And quickly I'm gonna show you where it's gonna go. So. When these two match up, we're not going to seal that off. They're actually going to be left open to create pockets. And we are going to put this in between. Hmm. Hard to show you right now because I haven't scored it yet. But that's what I'm going to do. So it's one inch. I'm going to score it down the middle at a half inch. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And you're going to need one set of these for each of the pockets. And so we're just going to fold it on the score line. And I guess now it'll be easier to, to show you how that's going to work. So let me just grab two of these. We are going to adhere this right inside there. And I'll show you that in a little bit, how it's done. And that is going to help create a pocket. Okay. It's kind of like a little gusset, I guess you would call it. But it's not a really wide one or anything. So... Mostly, I just wanted to show you how to create these, and now I'm going to show you how to put them into the book. Okay, so take all of your pages, make sure that they're facing the right direction and in the order that you want them. Okay, so everything is facing the right way. You wouldn't want to find out one is upside down. Okay, now we're not going to put them in all at once, but I'm going to show you this is how they're going to go in. So this is what it looks like on the end. And this right here is the spine. And so it's gonna go in just like that. And you can use double-sided tape or glue, whatever you prefer, to adhere these in. And we're gonna start with the first page. And because I want this page to lay over on the front, I'm gonna make sure that I get it right up against the seam there, okay? and. I prefer to use glue. I am going to use Beacon 3-in-1. Um, usually when I'm making mini albums, I do use double-sided tape, but I just want to make sure that I get everything lined up and that glue is going to give me some wiggle room. So this is my first page. Here we go. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to hold this a minute um, to dry. Um, not too long because this is Beacon 3-in-1 and it dries really quick. So I'm just putting this on here, like so. Again, I'm gonna make sure I have it facing the right direction. And then I'm just going to line it up right on the edge. Now you don't want it actually in where the seam is because that's where the book needs to bend. But just get it lined up. Give it some equal distance, top to bottom. And now I'm just gonna press that down and I'm going to let it dry a minute, and I'm going to put the rest of the pages in, 
and I'll be right back. Okay, I thought I should show you one more page going in so you can see how they line up. So again, I'm using my beacon. And we'll just get this glue on here. It's okay if it gets a little sloppy because no one is actually going to see any of this. So I'm just making sure I have plenty on there because I want it to adhere really well. And again, making sure that I have it going the right direction. I'm going to line this up right next to the other one. Okay. And so the reason why I like that wiggle room is because I want my pages to be even. So I don't want one sticking more out one direction or the other. So I've got that in there. I'm just going to press that down. Okay. And I am now going to go put my last pages in here. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so I've already created two of the pockets. And so that is where the, the white pages were back to back. And I used these to adhere them together. And I'm going to try to show you, but I'm pretty sure this is almost impossible for me to do on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you that, you know, I scored it in half. I've got a quarter inch of the um, double-sided tape on here. I actually didn't have half inch or I would have done that. And so with it folded in half, what I would do that I'm not gonna do on camera is I'm gonna peel off one of the sides, one of the protectors so we have the adhesive showing and I'm just gonna open this up and show you what I would do if I did that. So I would just slide this down in there all the way in and keep it alongside the edge and adhere it on one side, leaving the protective tape on this side. Then I would take the other one and do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, and so as you can see, I have both pieces in there and I decided once I've got that in there, I can probably show you the rest of it on camera if you would like to see that. So just let me peel off the protective tape here. Okay, so those are ready. Make sure they're flat and just bring the page up to it, just like that. And I'm sure this is just not at the greatest angle for you to see, but I'm trying. Okay, push down on it really good and here's your pocket. So that's what we have so far. I decorated the front cover with some cutouts from the Soda Fountain Shop bundle and I also created a little label that said desserts and added some pink pearly hearts and then this is the inside um, the front cover of the inside and also the back cover on the inside where you could see that I also used some other cutouts from this bundle and then on that last page I used one of the um, library cards to create a pocket to hold recipe cards. Thank you all for watching today and I hope you love that bundle as much as I do and I hope you like my project. And don't forget there are links below and not just to Crafters Castle Challenge and Tailor Made Cards for You and what I use today. There are also links to the rest of the design team members and you are not going to want to miss their projects as well. So please click where it says show more. It'll drop down and you will find all the links. Happy crafting everyone. Bye bye.